oh, the look of the cathedral. I want it big. I want it really big and massive because in the story, the woman is trapped. The design of the cathedral was relatively easy in terms of design. We got a photo of a, a real cathedral and basically said like the layout and um, the look of it. And then we, we, we take off from that. Um, we wanted it dark. Um, initially, we wanted it sunny. What, should it be in a cave or no? But I think the cathedral gives it a, a, like a nice look. You see the nice architecture, the pillars, and we base it on real cathedrals. Model of the cathedral is pretty standard uh, until he, he says, destroy it. <laughs> then, then we're saying, oh, you know, there's a lot of work. Uh, it's one of the heaviest objects that I've ever seen because of the amount of debris and, and, and um, destruction in there. It's uh, very simple in terms of layout, but very challenging. She's suspended in midair by this huge mechanical um, creature. There are tentacles everywhere, and there's a, you know, uh, creatures there, and there's a girl in distress. You know, there's a lot of things going on. Slippery, slimy tentacles just you know, falling to the ground and, and the tentacles are wrapped around this, this woman. The hard thing uh, for all the girl shot is that she's moving around and we have to match move all the tentacles so that it sticks, you know, and that's, you know, anyone who's doing CGs will, will kind of cringe at something like that. It's a beauty shot and every, you know, imperfections or uh, chismis as they call it uh, would show up. So uh, that, that shot Took, took, uh, took quite a while to do, especially the clips up. Uh, there's an issue of where to put the tentacles over here, over there, and over there, but you know, uh, it's fun.